Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. First of all, I'd like to thank you that you have joined the channel and you have subscribed here. The other thing that is really really important to talk about is the safety on board and today we will see two items and two equipment which is really really important for the life at sea. As we know the working conditions it's really really uh, hazardous and uh, as we can see from the past and from the future uh, also will be a lot of uh, regulations which will be updated will be revised and this is a live industry which always always have changes these changes coming to overcome the old one and the reason is because most of the companies and really the companies that try to improve uh, this uh, industry and the safety itself they has a really really high standards first of all uh, the most important is to tell that the life jackets it's all not only located in the passenger vessels it's located in all the vessel and all the types of uh, kind of ships or barges whatever you can talk about the only thing that will change is the size probably and also the quantity uh, as I have worked also in the passenger vessels there is a size for the kids oversize and for normal sizes and I have that idea I had that idea for making these videos because it's really really important uh, to show for the newcomers how the life jacket look like mostly of them they are made from polyester there is some cubes and also there is some reflective uh, straps so it will reflect any kind of light in case that somebody uh, will be searching on you or uh, this will provide a better spot uh, from a far distance so here we are we need to check all the overall condition the officer who is involved uh, for checking the life jackets mostly is the deck officer they check also the batteries the whistle uh, the, the overall condition of the life jacket and recently I have seen that uh, this kind of jackets can withstand around 20 to 30 years if there is proper maintenance. If there is any kind of damage around, uh, the life jacket should be replaced because this is the last chain uh, which connect the safety and the life itself. There is a lot of instructions at the back which you can see also the maker, the quantity, uh, the kilograms that uh, can be supported. There is a, a lot of details there and as new marine seafarer try to give attention to these kind of details. There is a lot of them. And most important is that when you are going first time on board like a marine engineer or deck officer, it's really really important that you will be involved in the safety of the ship with a, a older officer so you will you will take a good advantage of learning of uh, the safety equipment on board all the items should be fitted properly must not be over tight or over slack um, as you can see there is a whistle available so you can blow there and if anyone is close to you will really really show you and you will be spotted the flashlight is working when the person will be waterborne the circuit will be closed and the battery will be activated all this uh, equipment 
have a strict regulation by solas and the length of the battery let's say all or the strips uh, have a, a exact size also as you can see on the bottom uh, I have the name of the vessel so I put some tape there there's also the name of the vessel and the port registry a good practice and also when I go on the vessel on board when I attend the vessel I check all the safety equipment to see in what condition they are and as much as possible you will find it uh, as much as possible fast you will be able to rectify any problem also fast and in case that uh, you will need that stuff it will be always available and ready so that is it that is how we apply the life jacket and when we jump from a high height uh, it's better to keep your life jacket like that so it will not be you will not be heated uh, by the water stream and the pressure because as you jump down in the water the life jacket will be pushed so it's better to jump like that and always have your uh, view on the horizon so you will jump straight and you will not fall down by uh, the back or in the front always jump with your legs down so in case that there is something in the bottom uh, you will not be struck by your head and you will be consciousness in case that even you break your leg you can operate and swim with your hands but if you will break your head you will not be able to do anything also a very very important thing that i like to share with you my dear friends if you are working in passenger vessels or the vessels which contain a lot of people and there is a lot of crew members when you are dropping uh, some kind of boats or rescue boats or life rafts you always need to be careful before dropping you need to check down and verify that there is not anybody uh, below the vessel so as you can see if I close the circuit by my hand even uh, our skin can contact and close the contact itself always test always check the proper condition because it's really really important thing and we need to pay a lot of attention to all the safety equipment on board looking around one once again that is it you can see all the details around the straps itself the plastics And next we will move on to immersion suite which also must be checked for the tightness and as much as possible to be in good condition because if you'll be in the cold area and the cold water will be enter inside okay you will not uh, be dying directly but you will lose a lot of uh, thermal from your body also we will see all the procedure together we will see how we put the immersion suite let's first of all take out the immersion suite out as you can see at the back I have this uh, soccer and I found it in the cookies store was there i don't know from where nobody was used it i only uh, try to uh, fix it and put it like a 
let's say, like a painting there, so it will not be an empty room. So first of all, as we lying down, we put our foot because our hands are free and then, then we enter uh, with our hands and we are fixing uh, the zip so our zip will be until there next is the head and before you zip until uh, the head must be entered inside and then the zip will go until up so not any water will enter inside and you will be warm also this kind of um, immersion suite will provide you a positive floating at the sea will protect you from the cold it's really really hot there and now i'm inside i feel really really hot so also here we have the reflective uh, strips so it will be more easy uh, to find the people and spot or you can call it reflective patches it's uh, also a very very good solution to put the life jacket on the top and tie it like that so here we are we are ready to jump to the water also at the back we have the port registry and also on the front on the immersion suite we have also the procedure of uh, wearing the immersion suite in the most vessels there is a test procedure the crew members are jumping to the swimming pool for the testing and as you can see only my nose is uh, visible and my eyes nothing else it's really really tight there and this will keep you warm until somebody is going to pick up you uh, when I was apprentice really I didn't see this kind of uh, equipment on board and then the regulation changed and all the vessels now uh, you, you can find this kind of the immersion suite only I believe uh, in the passenger vessels okay if the passenger vessels will be a uh, trade in north they will have this kind of immersion suite but if they trade on let's say on the uh, area of Greece like that for sure uh, they will not have uh, such kind of immersion suite uh, it's a really really necessity for old worldwide vessels which trade around and from now the regulations really really uh, try to keep them in all kind of vessels so thank you for watching and stay tuned to adventure story channel videos from adventure story channel bye bye